Good morning. Very warm. It's March the March the first. It is. This is the beginning of summer here in Thailand, and it's starting to warm up. I'm in the shade. I've even put a fan back there. Hopefully, it won't disturb the microphone. And uh, if I get that right. Sadly, we have got the cockroaches today. It's just too hot to get out there, the sail around there, busy. So we're back in the hammock. Abracadabra, eight. Eight already. People keep asking how many more of these. Hmm, maybe three or four. Let's see how we get on. But this one should be good, interesting. We left it that Hans had just got his, their second hand car. Mitsubishi Pajero, I think it was white. Anyway, let's crack on. He's been here about 10 days, he's already spent over a million baht. He landed, remember, with about 6 million baht. He says to Gretel that all they've been doing is the house, and he fancied he wanted to go to a beach and see a bit of Thailand. Gretel said, let's go down to Wahin or Charam. Wahin a bit more expensive, Charam a bit cheaper. We'll drive down to find a hotel. This is fantastic, this whole weekend away. <laughs> little, little devils. <laughs> um, let's have a weekend away. And uh, one of the things I had been talking about the previous week was health insurance. And Han said to um, Gretel, as he started looking at the map, he said, oh, a friend of mine, Simon, lives down that way. Um, and he's got a company he uses health insurance. Maybe we could drop him to say hi, because he moved here a few months ago. And um, I can check about his company. Well, she's sort of quite defensive, says, well, the insurance, best one for you is going to be through, uh, not so much the bank, but my sister's got contacts for health insurance so I think that's going to be a better one he said well I'm just going to check with Simon what company he used and we can it's always good to compare prices so she said yeah, okay and she started asking questions about me <laughs> must have been a Friday because they uh, he gave me a, a tinkle said he's dropping in I said no problem I've actually got friends we're already en route, but they'll probably be gone by the time he gets here. And, uh, <laughs> you little shit, get off, Ron. <laughs> I knew it. Today, you were going to be a pain in the butt. Just relax. Just lie down. Go to sleep. Leave me alone. Um, Friday. It must have been a Friday. So, he, yeah, he rang me. And then they came. Um, so he's in Kanchanaburi, bridge over the river Kwai, hour and ten minutes from me. And it's en route for him to Charan Um Come on, I don't. Ow! Ah! Don't bite! Ow! Come. Ah! <laughs> Biting my leg. Don't bite my leg, you little sh No. Don't bite. Stop it. Don't bite. Don't pick your claws. Ow! No. You're interrupting the flow of my love story. In fact, the best thing for you to do is to bugger off. Go on, bugger off. And you. Thank you. Leave me alone. If it isn't cocks, cockerels, cats, dogs, what's next? So they head in the car and they come down. Um, and as they turn up, another couple of friends of mine are here. Bernard, uh, and Oi, Bernard's an English guy, Oi, Thai lady, 
He's, he, he like, must have landed about the same time as Hans and moved here. He was here showing me his new Honda PCX white motorcycle. Um, and uh, they briefly met as uh, Burnham was going. Hans came down, arrived. So uh, we sat and had a chat about health insurance, told him Pacific Cross. That's a good advert for Pacific, <coughs> Pacific Cross. Um, I'll put a link below. There is a video I've done on it. Fair quick chat to that. I met Gretel, a uh, lovely lady. And they stopped half an hour and then off they went. White Pajero, Mishibushi Pajero, yeah. Yeah. Looks a nice car. She was driving at that point. Not him, I noticed. Off they went. Weekend, Charam, Huahin. Um, had a lovely weekend by all accounts. Not sure which one they went to, whether it was Charam or Huahin. And uh, off back home the next week. He did start to looking at health insurance. Um, I can't remember how old Hans is, but I think he was, yeah, he was okay for Pacific Cross because you have to be less than 67. He must have been, what, 60, was he 64, 65? And they turned out um, with the email address I gave me, contacted Jamie. He was okay and it came out at about uh, 35,000 back for him her insurance she then got her quotes from her sister came out at about 60. so he actually went with pacific cross and got it lined up more money more money spent and they did that over the following three weeks or so they got all that lined up and he's got pacific cross sorted so visited me had a weekend away health insurance sorted more money spent He's starting to drive the car. She's teaching him how to get around Kanchanaburi and he's starting to drive up and down to the supermarket or the shops with her side by side. Everything's going well. There's been no talk of, of uh, marriage or engagement. I think the car was in her name because um, he didn't have any of the paperwork or yellow book or tire ID card. Hadn't put his name on a dress that they were renting. Now we're gonna jump forward a couple of weeks. They're just mulling around. Everything's fine with the house, health insurance sorted, car. Everything's good. At which point, a couple of things, twists happen. Gretel admits to Hans that her sister actually has got a part-time partner um, who's a little different and that it's time that he met Greenwalk's different partner because Greenwalk was fine with that And he said, oh, okay. Before she didn't have a girlfriend, now she's got a partner. And sort of Greta said, yeah, that's still the case, sort of, you'll see. We're going to go out for a meal. And then a second twist was, my sister, Griwa, lives in a house that actually was mine and my former partner husband house um, and we bought it off my former husband between us so they have got a house and we we got a mortgage and we paid it off recently so we have got a house but she lives in it she says Greewalk wants to buy the, half that house off me. She wants that house. And I think I'd like to sell it 
to her. However, I want my own house. Alarm bells? Yes. I want my own house. So what I think I'm going to do, because even if if I don't live in it, you're gonna come and annoy me now. Even if we don't live in it, I can rent it out. But I want to buy a house. No. Don't attack me. Piccadilly Circus here. So, Hans is like, okay, so she's going to buy the half the house, so you're going to have half the money. She said yes. She said I'd like to put that down on a house. And what I'd probably do is buy a brand new build on a gated community that I can easily rent out. And she said maybe we could go and live in it as long as I'm covering the, the mortgage. None of that sounds too much of a problem to him. And again, remember, only been there a few weeks. She said, we've already started the process of me selling the house to her, and it's only gonna be a few weeks before it goes through. And he says, well, what sort of money are you gonna get? And she said, well, I've sold the house to her, the, uh, my half, for one million baht. House is two million baht. He said, well, that's good. And she said, before you uh, come, I was going to be doing this and going and looking at these houses. So she said, it doesn't really affect us in any way. She said, I'm, I want to look at these houses and take on a, a mortgage and, and buy this house. And, and then I'll rent it out to pay my half of the mortgage. And I can get a mortgage through my sister. And it can all be done very quickly. So it doesn't really affect us, she said. But however, we, you know, when we get the house, if, if you like it, then we'll rent it to ourselves and it covers the mortgage and he said well that, that's okay then so i'm not investing any money it's just possibly changing the house we live in to a better house and me paying the rent on that one instead of this and she said yeah 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 hmm okay so that's on the table i said right tonight we are going into town and we're going there's a bit of a trendy coffee shop bar restaurant and we're going to meet Greewok and Greewok's part-time partner. And he's like, great, okay, brilliant. End of the day, change, showered, all the rest of it. He puts his uh, nice blazer on and shirt, looking very, very dash. The sort of German twist. Off they go. They get to this place and it's like a two-story three-story two-story coffee shop modern uh, restaurant Thai food a little bit of Farang's food and ow you little I love cats I just hate you Ron you little shite gets to the cafe restaurant coffee shop Look, you little cat, you little git. And you. And you. Get, 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 you little git. Enough. Get out of here, I'm filming. Bugger off. Blood. Typical. going on behind me I can't see. Hey put the zoom off. You might be able to see what's happening. Little git. <sighs> um sorry guys. So they get to the restaurant. Ah, and again they're first. Very nice. Very nice. Well lit, romantic. There's even a little band in there at the back. Two piece Guitarist and a singer, two guys singing away. Uh, and Greewalk turns up. Greewalk turns up. Greewalk is about five foot, uh, five foot five, five foot six, and partner's about five foot nine. Uh, 
man sees them coming in. Gorgeous long black hair for the partner. And they come across, and as, as they're coming across, remember, Hans hasn't got much, hasn't got much um, experience with Thailand. He sees Griewok and uh, Griewok's partner coming across, and the partner is sort of almost like a catwalk, the way she, they, the, they've entered, the way they're walking. And his eyes are like, wow, she is beautiful. She's stunning. The top part of her body was not real. Uh, definitely been to a, a, a doctor for that. Anyway, long legs, was in a one piece dress, quite short. <coughs> and Gretel is looking at hands, looking at this this uh, partner of three walks and uh, thinking what are you uh, looking like that at uh, three walks partner and she gives him a bit of a nudge and he sort of oh, oh, didn't realize he was staring so much battery went <laughs> I don't like cutting, editing, battery going, pain. Let it run. Yeah, Gretel nudged him. Stop staring, man. And uh, in they come. Griewok comes over and Griewok's partner and they both why, put their hands together, why uh, Gretel and Hans. And uh, Hans, for some reason, puts his hand out to shake hands with them both. Okay, then the Thai traditional Y and shakes hands with Griwok. Puts his hand out and shakes hands with uh, the partner of uh, Griwok. Uh, and the partner almost crushed his hand with the handshake. Ha! Oh, let's leave it there. Come on, what do you think? It's pretty obvious what's happening here, but what is going to happen? What is going to happen here? And the house thing. Any guesses on that? Let's see if any of you can work out what she's doing. What is she doing? What is Gretel doing with the house? What is Griewok's partner? And can we have a name? Can you name Griewok's partner for the story, please? Oh, that's going to be awkward because I'm about to film the next episode and you haven't given me a name. So we'll, I won't give it. The partner a name. I call them X until you've named her. <laughs> right, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Hmm. Be good. Have a great uh, day, weekend. Don't forget thumbs up, share, and like, and all the rest of it. Bye for now.